sabes que es muy peligroso. Esto no te devolverá a tu hijo. Tengo que irme. Hi Frank, how are you? Good. Good. So, well, the first obvious question would be, how did you get involved in the project? Uh, they sent me, uh, James DeMonico sent me the script, and uh, I never, I hadn't seen the first movie. And the script was really fun and great, and, uh, you know, it reminded me of, like, movies I liked when I was a kid in the 70s. And uh, did I say the 70s? I meant the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I met with him and talked, to, well, you know, his ideas and my ideas, and, and signed on, and then went and watched the first one just to see what he did, you know, what he did with it, and understanding he only had a couple million dollars to make a movie. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, I was on board from the beginning. I have to confess that I enjoy more the second one than the first one. I hope so, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's really the scope of it is, they really are very different films, but mm -hmm. the scope of this one is bigger, and it feels like a bigger movie and an event, yeah. more than, than a situation in a house mm -hmm. like that, yeah. I don't know if I'm very, I'm elucubrating here, but I got the message that the movie's trying to convey that it's always this separation between the poor people and the rich people, and yeah. Even though most of the majority of the population thinks, oh, we are purging and we are getting rid of who, uh, whoever we don't like, the bottom line is that the rich are controlling you and they want to get rid of right. the masses. That's exactly, that's exactly what it is. And, you know, it is, a, it is a, you know, I think the, the separation between wealth and poverty is, is getting further and further apart. And less, and, you know, it's, it's in the papers all the time. The middle class is dying out. And, and uh, you know how do you and you go to different parts of the world and you see that you see that socioeconomic difference is really, really f spread apart. Um, and that's what DeMonico, That's one of the things that he wanted to explore is you know is is that this thing like where are we going with this? Mm -hmm. Like you know how much can this group have and this group not have until something happens, something breaks. So on a personal level, where do you think we're heading, like, let's say, 50 years from now or 100? Oh, God, I am so not the person to ask because I'm just not educated enough. But, I, you know, I have three children, and I'd like to think that um, we're producing smarter people and that, you know, the problems that we are faced with every day, including violence and guns and stuff, will find a solution to, to all this stuff and we won't have to deal with it as much. But, you know, it certainly is, you know, we do have to... We have to make some changes. And what about overpopulation? Because, I mean, right now, the planet is going to get to a point that there's not enough resources for everybody. So how do you think we're going to cope with that? That's a, good, that's a good question. I mean, I, you, who knows? I, how do we cope with that? And you can't tell people to stop. I guess you can. You can limit, you can limit how, many, how many people can have kids, uh, you know, how many kids you can have to a family, or, you know. Uh, but at some point, you think they should tell you, OK, let's have only one, because I mean, Don't they do that somewhere? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, if they tell you they would forbid you to to smoke at the restaurant like in the fifties, right. would you have believed it? No. So. No, I mean, I remember being on airplanes when you could smoke. So yeah, I mean, there's so there's so many things that change quickly, and and uh, you know, at, in this kind of day and age. But uh, these are great questions. They're all great questions. But at the end of the day, this is entertainment, you know, and yeah. people go to be to be thrilled and frightened or whatever it is they're going to be. Yeah, but, but there are some questions that, you Yeah, know. no, I, I, to me, what I, I mean, I like the movie, but what I like is that it, it kept me thinking. Thinking, yeah. So yeah I mean, and there is, listen, uh, our, this country specifically does have some issues with guns and uh, we're hyper-violent, you know, so, so uh, why? You know, the whole world sees the same movies and watches the, and plays the same video games, but they don't yeah. have similar problems, you know, uh, in, 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 in places, you know, similar to the United States. So, I don't know, I don't, you know, we have to fix that. Let, we do. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice meeting you. Si no nos detenemos, todo irá bien. La gente como nosotros no sobrevive esta noche. No deberíamos estar aquí. Recordad todo lo bueno que tiene esta noche.